This is a quick video on how to get Nikon Scan working on Windows 10. This PC is running Windows 10 64-bit uh, Pro. What we want to do is download the Nikon Scan 4.0.3 software. This is the last version that Nikon released and it is designed to work with Windows Vista which helps us because it means it can work with Windows 10. So we're going to go to this first link after we've searched for it in Google and Nikon's website should give us the ability to download it. So Let's go down and begin the download. At the bottom, we're going to save this. And we will come back when this is downloaded. Okay, so that's downloaded. We've gone to open the folder where it's downloaded. It's 14 megabytes and we want to right click it and troubleshoot compatibility we want to choose the compatibility settings and say that it worked in an earlier version of Windows and it needs additional permissions so we will go with Windows Vista as that's what it's designed for and we will click test the program this pops up saying do we want to let it make changes yes we do and here we are going through the install process just click next and yes next again for the default directory yes we'd like to create it and this is where it installs the drivers for the Nikon CoolScan 4000, 8000, 9000 as well as the LS40, LS50 and 5000 and these are the other names for the LS40 and 50 the CoolScan 4 and the CoolScan 5 so click next click next yes save these settings says it's all worked, we close and we're back to the installer program do so you want to create a shortcut on your desktop? yes please this is still part of the um, setup process for the scanner software so we'll just use the wizard to set the colour space windows and we're going to go with sRGB because we're, we're using an sRGB monitor if you don't know what you are set up as or if you do you can select one of these but if you don't just go for srgb click ok and it recommends restarting the pc so we're going to do that we are back in windows after restarting what i'm going to do now is switch on the scanner which is right next to us and i'm going to plug in the cable using a Nikon CoolScan 4000 which has got a firewire connection and I'm going to plug that into the computer work out which way around the cable goes and in the corner you can see it's setting up the device And then I'm going to run Nikon Scan, and this is fairly standard. The folder specified for temporary files is not available. The default folder will be used. That's great. And then when we're in here, we want to press. Whoop. Oh. We want to press this. Hmm. So what we need to do is restart and disable digital driver signing enforcement. 
we can go to settings recovery advanced startup and then troubleshoot advanced options startup settings disable driver signature enforcement and when we get the option here disable driver signature enforcement and now we should be able to go back to device manager go to the hard device update the driver browse the computer I've got that one here drivers You want to install this driver anyway. And that has been successful. So now when we run Nikon scan, it actually detects the scanner. Here we are. I will put a slide in and click. Oh, it's already doing it's already doing something. I'll click preview. I will put up the location of where you can download the specific driver files in the description. And here we have the scan. So we can Go to the settings, we can, oh yeah, all these settings are over here aren't they, scanner extras, manual focus, image enhancement, digitalize, these are things you want to switch on. Can do a scan, etc.